For the past week, I've had my sim slapped inside of this here Honor Magic 5 Pro. A 6.8 inch mega bastard boasted enough premium tech to make even the mighty Samsung S23 Ultra make a mess of its pants. However, at 950 British puns, the Magic 5 Pro isn't much cheaper than Sammy's most premium smartphones. So is it actually worth all of that cash? Well, here's some words that when put together form a kind of review type thing. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now let's start with the design and the Honor Magic 5 Pro is, well, do I even have to point out that it's bloody enormous like pretty much every other phone right now? The curves at the edge of the display are a bit more subtle, a bit more gentle compared with last year's flagship phone, similar to what Samsung did with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Although I've got to say, it definitely still had some responsiveness issue when I was reclined on a sofa using the phone, just clutching it that little bit more tightly. And also, I really struggled whenever I swiped from the bottom of the screen to try and minimise an app or bring up that recent apps menu. Quite often this does take two or three attempts, which is a minor pain in the arsehole region. But on a more positive, slightly less whiny note, that finish is rather fetching, especially in this lovely meadow green colour. The Eye of Muse camera does stick out a fair distance, although this is mostly masked by Honor's smooth contours, which incidentally were apparently inspired by that Spanish genius Gaudi, which just to my mind sounds like an excuse for the design team to bugger off to Barcelona for a week of research. Fair play. Now when this phone is sat on a table, it doesn't wobble and it's also inclined towards you thanks to that camera bump, so all good. And after a week of pretty rough handling, it's still in perfect nick as well, not a single scratch or scuff on that arse end. You've got a pre-installed screen protector and like all good flagship smartphones, the Honor Magic 5 Pro is IP68 water and dust resistant. Now the software slapped on here is the Magic OS 7.1 launcher based on Android 13. And that comes with the added reassurance of three years of Android OS updates and five years of security updates as well, which is better than more basic budget friendly on a smartphones and on a par with most Android flagship rivals. And as for Magic OS, well, it's your typical Chinese launcher with its fair share of quirky shenanigans, shall we say. Brace yourself for some lower league morning because it is minor complaints roundup time. So first up, I have on occasion had an app just completely freeze up on me for bugger all reason. Usually it's just a case of swiping it away, starting again. But occasionally I have had to reboot the phone fully in order to get it back in full working order. Also, not being able to swipe down the notifications bar from anywhere on your desktops is bloody annoying and it also risks serious thumb strain. Also, notifications don't always pop up in a super timely manner. Sometimes apps are just kind of snoozing a bit in the background when they shouldn't be. So I'll open up the email app, for instance, and all of a sudden I'll have half a dozen messages fly into my inbox. And also the yo-yo assistant that slaps on this thing is about as helpful as an automatic crotch kicking machine. If you want anything beyond basic weather updates, then just don't even bother. And frankly, if you live in Blighty, then at the moment you definitely do not want weather updates. Thankfully, the in-display fingerprint sensor works just fine, and the Honor Magic 5 Pro also serves up a bit of 3D face scanning action like those iPhones, hence the whopping great selfie cam orifice, which includes a depth sensor. And this also does a bang-up job. It recognised me even when I was rocking shades and even in quite dim light. And thankfully, this only blocks a small portion of the 6.8-inch AMOLED screen, which stretches almost the entire front end of the Honor Magic 5 Pro. And this display, I can happily say, is right up there with the very best smartphone flagship panels right now. It's powerfully bright, it's punchy as heck, and it's got the latest LTPO tech to scale the refresh rate from 1Hz to 120Hz. And Honor has also chucked in features like motion blur cancellation, as well as SDR to HDR upscaling. But it is on the HDR10 Plus compliant, however, there's no Dolby Vision action, just like with Samsung's blowers. And like most other flagships, you've got a whole bunch of tools chucked on here to reduce eye fatigue as well. The likes of dynamic dimming, all kinds of smarty pants stuff. And yeah, no real surprises on the audio front. Those stereo speakers are powerful enough to make the Honor Magic 5 Pro heard in even rather noisy circumstances. There's subtle headphone jack on here as usual, but I had absolutely no issues with Bluetooth streaming to headphones or my car stereo or whatever. You've even got DTSX Ultra support, good news for gamers with a cracking set of supported headphones. And it's not exactly a massive shock to discover that Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset is stashed inside of the Honor Magic 5 Pro, as this is the chosen platform for most 2023 flagship phones. So yeah, you can expect creamy smooth performance just like other Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 smartphones that I've reviewed recently. 
No worries if you want to get gaming on Genshin Impact and other memory goblin games, they all run perfectly here even if you're dodging work and playing for a good couple of hours straight. There's no troublesome heat build up to slow things down and singe your pinkies, plus that Magic OS adds in a decent game and toolbar with the choice of two performance modes and the usual notification blocking features and other useful stuff. Now stuffed inside of this enormous gorgeous slab is a 5100mAh capacity battery so it's not a massive shocker that battery life is certainly a highlight of the Magic 5 Pro. So if you're a moderate user this phone can basically survive a couple of days in between charges and even with heavy use I'm talking 6 to 7 hours of screen on time a day with lots of camera play all of that good stuff I still ended most days with at least 33% left in the tank. And if you do need to give it a quick boost, well, you've got 66 watt wired charging support here. So that's better than your Apples, your Samsungs, your Googles, and you've also got wireless charging support on top. But of course, one of the biggest features of the Magic 5 Pro, both metaphorically and literally, is that flipping massive camera, which dominates the arse end. All of Honor's marketing shenanigans are pretty much entirely focused on that Eye of Muse camera tech, to the point where they've even partnered up with the Guinness Book of World Records where they showed off an impressively sharp photo of a sporty man doing jumpy stuff. But anyway, what you have here is a 50 meg primary sensor, the Sony IMX878, which is a mind bigger than Samsung's S23 Ultra sensor, although not quite as big as the Xiaomi 13 Pros. I've had no issues at all using the camera, that shutter speed is crazy quick and the phone does a blinding job with live and breathing subjects who refuse to keep still for more than 3 milliseconds. I was particularly impressed with the portrait mode which captures faces and objects cleanly, keeping them nice and crispy while smudging out the background with some sexy bokeh style blurring. Textures and tones give a natural vibe to your pics and this is true no matter what you're shooting, be it food, felines, huge f**k off buildings, whatever you fancy. And the Honor Magic 5 Pro can handle strong contrast, dodgy lighting and other testing conditions just as well as other popular flagship blowers. In more ambient environments, those detail levels stay strong and colours are still accurately captured. And then for low light snaps, that sizeable sensor is supported with some tasty optical image stabilisation, so you'll get bright crisp snaps to rival the S23 Ultra. And as well as the 878, the Magic 5 Pro also serves up two additional lenses, a 50 meg ultra wide angle shooter and a 50 meg telephoto option. That ultra wide is one of the better efforts that I've tested lately as not only do you get sharp finely detailed picks but those tones don't take much of a hit while strong and crappy lighting is again handled well. And if you'd rather get closer to the action instead the telephoto snapper serves up a 35 times optical zoom that rivals Samsung's S23 Ultra and the Pixel 7 Pro. This once again maxes out at 100 times total zoom just like Sammy's space zoom shenanigans Although, yeah, once you zoom in too much, things do get a wee bit abstract. It is still mightily impressive, however, with image stabilisation to help prevent blurry snaps. And as always, you've got plenty of other camera modes to piddle about with as well, the likes of a pro mode, your obligatory macro stuff. As for video, that can be captured at up to 4K resolution, there's no 8K option here, unlike many other flagships these days. But Ultra HD does a great job for your home movies, most of the time at least. Those visuals can be a little bit poppy, occasionally dipping a toe into oversaturated in quite bright conditions. And in softer light, I did find that the primary lens occasionally struggled to figure out what it was supposed to be focusing on. It's not quite a Samsung or an Apple beta then, but it's still respectable with strong audio capture. Oh, and if you fancy yourself as a bit of a Spielberg, there is a movie mode with various filters to play around with just to change up the mood a bit. And finally, up front, the Magic 5 Pro serves up a 12 megapixel selfie shooter with accompanying depth sensor. And as long as you stay reasonably still, you will get a good looking shot 9 times out of 10. It's not too put out by strong backlighting, while the portrait mode once again does a cracking job. And that in a nutshell, my lovelies, is my full final frank review of the Honor Magic 5 Pro, which is hitting the UK imminently. And I've got to say, as far as the hardware goes, it's right up there with the very best flagships right now but on the software side of things is where it starts to fall apart a little bit not quite as stable and not quite as premium as a lot of the other options out there and that said unless you're going full-on stock android with the likes of the pixel phones there does tend to be a little bit of shonk involved with pretty much every launcher out there but at least you've got the guaranteed years and years of osm security updates which is highly commendable and to be fair expected these days 
So that's what I think of the Honor Magic 5 Pro anyway. It'd be great to hear your own thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and dig that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Check out my full final review of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Pixel 7 Pro, all of its biggest rivals right now. And have yourselves a ruddy, wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.